everybody, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we're watching the 12th and final episode of Saijaka Muhai no Bahamut. Hi everyone, in order for us to comply with YouTube's copyright policy, we will not be posting the anime in our video. We instead will be using a timing format in which we will post the timer in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. How this works is you will look up the anime on the streaming service of your choice, go past the company title sequences, if there are any, and you will pause just before the episode starts. You will hear an audible countdown from the three of us. Three, two, one, let's jam. When we say let's jam, press play on your player and you'll be automatically synced up with us. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding! Last time... Alicia got carted off by the cops in the precinct. For reasons I can't comprehend. Other than their police force must be staffed with nothing but absolute retards. Indeed. Well, I mean... It's understandable because they don't, I don't, I don't know, maybe maybe the cops just don't understand the... Yeah, I don't know how many people know about the fact that there's somebody there who can control um, other people's drag rides, but just, enough people knew about it that... Yeah, it's pothole. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going down. It's going down. And how? Yeah, and let's get to it. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, straight into the opening. <laughs> Still doesn't look like a brand. No, it doesn't. It looks like one of those... It's been bothering me since episode one. It doesn't even look like a tattoo. It looks like one of those temporary tattoos you get from vending machines. <laughs> That's a burn. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. They probably That's the can. point. <laughs> Your skin heals. I mean, that's a burn. This is the vestiges of a skateboarding accident. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you, you can't... You shouldn't be able to see it. And if, if you can see it, it will be so faint. Yeah. It's... Yeah. It, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Infinite style mecha, right? New age, new age. Oh my. Kinky. Oh my. Forgot about this hoss. All right, he's Bahama to take down uh, Reggie Gigas. Yeah, keep, keep talking. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Whoa! He's not just some shit-talking douchebag. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful Lux. <laughs> <laughs> you mad? Oh, he's mad. 
No remorse. Just gone. You're gone. Wow. Just no remorse, no pre-mortem one-liner, just dead. <laughs> like well, you know what they say, here one moment, gone the next. <laughs> like a bitch. And another one bites of dust. Do -do 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 -do. Also, they totally leave her sword where she could reach it. Yeah, where she can reach it. She's small enough, she can crawl out! I'm trying to figure out exactly what kind of jokes I want to use for this big thing, but just can't think of any. Hmm. Oh, they would those like guys that. enjoy their jobs way too much. And right on time. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> <laughs> you would enjoy it. <laughs> I still left her sword. Right? Yeah. And the door wide open. Well, not that that really mattered. True. Big hole in the wall. Ah, Alicia. I must be lawful stupid. Smooth. Too smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why he pulls all the bitches. Oh, that's what you think. Well, then again, if you're standing on top of a walking continent. True enough. I can't tell if the... I can't tell if the, the robot's making faces or where the eyes are. Probably just a matter of perspective. <laughs> oh. Well, obviously. <laughs> oh. 
holding robot hands. This is almost as cheesy as, uh, oh, dang it, what was Domun and Rain's final attack from G Gundam? <laughs> you know the one. Yep. Just like G Gundam. <laughs> Spray shot. So is that what he yells when he? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't finish that sentence. <laughs> Hayes doesn't know where the screamer smile. <laughs> Creator, shit be fucked, yo. Crazy eyes. Oh God. Crazy, crazy your eyes. Cra crazy everything. Hayes is simply not paused upon. Honestly, during this whole time, I was expecting like a lot more artillery fire from the crossfeed, I think what they call it. Right. But it's just, everyone's just... Artillery there. fire in general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Stuff like that going not. Damn! <laughs> Looks like they got a new Main Street. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Jesus, Hayes. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but that yeah, that face totally caught me off guard. Oh, and here we go. Okay. The anime has sensed my complaints and is delivered. No, it hasn't. Oh, that was mecha, fu mecha fighting. There's still no artillery fire. All right, fair enough. Well, I was really uh, kind of uh, waiting on was some sort of combat in general. Kill you, that's what. Yeah. Keep yeah, attacking. Keep attacking. <laughs> I think your question has been answered. Hmm. <laughs> 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 hmm. This is settling. Hmm? Well, she says, yeah, all, all I gotta do is, to, all I have to do is defeat you and revive the old kingdom under your younger sister. So, yeah, his yeah. younger sister, the yeah. one at school. Oh. Yeah, that no, has wait. nothing to do with Hayes. No, right. No. However, the resemblance between Hayes and them is uncanny. uncanny. Except when she goes fully Hondura. And also, what is it with all the antagonists having... Uh, heterochrome. Yeah, heterochromia. Heterochromia, I believe. 
different colored eyes. Yeah, so. I'm sure the author just thought it would be cool. I'm sure the author just watched too much Rosen Maiden. <laughs> Dessa, Dessa, Dessa. Oh, great. Well, are we getting the backstory of her? In the last episode. With the old uh, crappy sketch flashback deal. Mm. Apparently you guys ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. And the budget ran out. <laughs> Probably on this flower petal scene. Probably. Or animating trap lux. Whoa! Damn. Well, that was fast. Damn. You can't run, you can't run. By the way, this is probably the worst matchup. <laughs> and it's just over like that. Okay, so what just happened? You got into her head. Apparently. Distracted her. I like how he's able to continue the same pace of conversation when she moves so fast that he can't detect her at all. in the backstab position. They call it. Thrusted it in. <laughs> was like, she said, what is the shaking? I was about to say, they call it an earthquake. I swear to God, every time they show her face. Ooh. Ooh. Cinder intensifies. She's still calling her a him. Glad to see we weren't the only ones fooled by Hayes' appearance. Well, you wanted the heavy artillery. Here we go. <laughs> So let's just stand around here talking about it. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, thud. Good night. Betrayal. Sudden. Jesus. Switch to decaf. <laughs> Switch to anything but the cocaine you're doing. 
<laughs> I don't know, but the pacing of this episode is just throwing me off. It is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. And now all of a sudden it's daytime again? Can't seem to get into a like a flow or anything. It's that just... robot with the dangling eye. <laughs> Why is it always the goddamn eye? <laughs> and then now, yeah, here we go. Victory speech. Alicia in her dress. Sudden. Oh. It was almost like they ran out of time. Hey, you don't have a microphone! <laughs> Spent all this time filling up for everybody else when it should be focusing on two characters. Uh, really, we couldn't tell. We couldn't see him from down here. Nor could we hear anything you're saying. But for some reason, I'm kind of reminded of Oren's speech from Kill Bill. Now, if any of you sons of bitches have anything to say, now's the fucking time to say it! You lost me. Yeah, you lost me too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you over the fireworks and the distance and the lack of amplification. Trap Squad is disappointed. What? Well, unfortunately, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Everyone, everyone, just just clap. They'll go away eventually. <laughs> Clearly, she hasn't heard of the internet. Where everybody is judged equally. <laughs> what? Was that black decal there the entire time? I have no idea. I have I was no pretty idea. sure she walked down the balcony with a straight just, pink shirt dress. Straight up plain red dress. Oh. Uh. The adventure continues. Indeed. Mm hmm. <laughs> Harem ending. <laughs> He ain't sewed, but I can tell you who else is. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Even the yeah, under of course you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It's sad, though. I mean... Push the story all you like, but after an ending like this, good luck getting a second season. I agree. <laughs> You're beyond help.
Tell me who do you <laughs> Luxy? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, harem ending. Harem ending, but everything's yeah, just not uh, ending really because right. obviously there's more material. Maybe. That was probably the worst final episode that we've watched yet. Definitely. Yeah. It feels worst. like they ran out of time. Like, just got rushed. Like, like, they needed, I don't know, 13 or 14 episodes. But they said, you know what, here, end it with this battle and just. Yeah, just shoehorn it all into 12. Which goes back to our podcast where we talked about the problems of harem anime. This really <sighs> needed to focus on two to four characters. Yeah, well, it spent too much time on the rest of the harem. We got six different focus episodes. I... I think it was even more than that. It was more than that. Yeah. Some characters got two focus episodes. Yeah. It really we just had didn't like, focus enough on the main story. Yeah. Yep. And because so. of that, we come up with this lackluster ending that we don't know what the timing is. We don't know... Yeah, everything it's just, just what actually they tried going to pack on. too much into one episode. Like I said, at the end. yeah, like I said, it's like the director just said, "Okay, end it with this battle, looking at the source material, shoehorn everything in as necessary to come up with an ending." This is like they didn't care which. That giant robot fight happened in the ma happened in you know, to my eyes happened throughout a night because it showed up right at sundown. They started fighting it right at dusk, continued fighting it through the night, and then beat it in the morning. Because the background changed throughout all of those in that, in that series. Mm. Well, I don't know. It might have something to do with Yoruko's power, because it didn't start getting dark until he was fighting her. And then it lightened up again after he was done fighting her. Um, I don't know. So the yeah, whole this, thing just yeah, this it did nothing really had like a good flow to it. Yeah, the the it whole episode felt, didn't have a very good flow to it. Yeah, it was really disappointing, actually. Yeah. But uh, look forward to our discussion. Uh, also look forward to our review coming out soon. Indeed. But that does it for this series on Anime Reactions. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Hi, everyone. Otaku Saga here, and we really hope you enjoyed this episode of Anime Reaction. Yeah, and if you have an idea for an anime that you'd like to see us watch, leave a comment down below. If you really like what we do, feel free to subscribe to our channel and visit our website at www.otakusaga.com. And, and as always, always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.